Well, at the smart ball, can't help you bowl an in-swing leg cutter, um, that's for sure. But what it is, it's actually got um, the microchips inside it with a Bluetooth 5 battery, it's rechargeable, that should produce the data. So things are the revolutions of the ball, um, the speed of the ball, the force of the ball, um, it can measure lots and lots of data. What's really exciting about this is that out of all that data, um, we can provide a platform for sports science for you know, the highest level. Uh, for coaching tools for you know, the first class level and engage with the players there. Also at a coaching level for kids um, and journalists for that matter. Uh, well park cricketers, even club cricketers, just to compete in, against their mates. You're, seeing, you're, you're actually seeing your outcome from the other end, uh, getting feedback as far as the revolutions, the pace in these two particular data streams. And the third one is of course broadcast. We'll get engagement from the fans coming and seeing um, you know, more into, in, into, into the game. Because the, the fan, if you like, has never been closer right now in history to the action in the middle. We'll bring them closer. The ball has, has got the um, technology in it, and I think it seems to behave exactly the same. So um, I think technology in sport is um, a great way to enhance the game. I think, like I said, for the viewer, um, you know, to be able to get that instant um, information of exactly what's happening and, and all the different things that they can produce um, about that and, and for a coaching tool you know to, for a bowler to get um, you know, it's a bit like track man in golf I suppose you can get those real numbers straight away and you know exactly what is happening um, so to use it as a coaching tool I think is fantastic. I'm pretty sure you can see now on the, I've bowled the most balls there already because I think I was at number two for a bit I was like geez this, this is not a good look I've got to keep trying to spin it no, nah, so um, I mean, definitely, like it's always fun when you you know come to this sort of thing, and there's a bit of a competition, a bit of a challenge.